hi everyone and good job setting up your workspace so now we are logging in our workspace um, first of all we are going to to practice here so we are in in the console in the Linux console this is the Linux console so if we want to to type to print to the screen hello world you should think this is but puts does not work in this environment you need to enter to the ruby console so the ruby console is called using irb command irb so here we are in the ruby console and inside of our ruby console we can type puts all the world and it will work so right now we are just using the command inside the irb console so we now are gonna use a file instead of just a common in in the ruby console so for exit the ruby console we are gonna type exit so now we are outside of ruby console and we will need to delete all this stuff we you do not you do not need to worry about this right now so just delete this uh, delete yes to all okay then right click on the left panel and click new file so untitled just name it hello.rb hello.rb enter and then double click and open the file so here the, op the file is opened this makes this much smaller okay so what we're gonna do here we have a ruby file dot rb is the extension for the ruby files so we can just type the same sentence or the same statement so just type puts and hell world control s or file save or save the file and then in the console for run this program we just type ruby then we type the name of the file hello.rb press enter and hello world was printed from here so most programming languages use uh, an end of sentence character in many cases it is a um, semicolon a semicolon so just save it and run again run it again just type the up arrow key and press enter and it is printed the same exactly the same but but we can omit that semicolon we can also add parentheses just right here parentheses and you will see just control s for save and you will see that the file is gonna be executed the same nothing changes when we write ruby programs ruby knows exactly what we win what we mean when we omit all of the parentheses and semicolons behind the scenes Ruby is doing that for us now we don't have to have all those texts in the in, in the in the sentence in the statement we can delete that save again and run the file and it runs it this way is much more cleaner and easier to read you can you can change the text here hello Sebastian save and run the file and it will work hello Sebastian it says hello Ruby how are you <laughs> so let's go ahead and try that yourself change the text here and see what happened now it's not exactly very functional just to keep writing the same text on the screen all the time now let's go ahead and set our name to something called a variable so so go back and click on before the p of the put sentence press enter and create a new variable called name so just type name equals and inside of columns your name type your name in my case sebastian Okay, so let's save the, save the file, just try to run the command again, 
and if you see is it it's printed this the the put sentence the put statement but it is ignoring this variable right now but uh, my name is saved inside the name variable so if we want this to be more cool so just delete my name here so just put hello and then print my name so put and the name variable so let's see what happened just run the program and if you see it printed hello it run this sentence and then line break and then my name name because Sebastian is saved into a name variable so it prints Sebastian go ahead and try that a few times by changing the name of the variable and also what goes inside it we have prepared a short quiz on our website the link is in the description of the video and also an annotation in this video well don't forget to follow us in our in our social networks and Bastion Belandi on Twitter and Rage Karate, Rage Karate on Twitter uh, Facebook Rage Karate always keep an eye on RageKarate.com and of course subscribe to our channel to more great videos in the next video we are going to learn about getting data as well as using input